What up guys, CP the Tool Addict. Woo! We're gonna start this video off different today. We got a tool haul, but we got a pretty awesome tool that's new, brand new. Astro Slim Cup. Now, you're gonna notice here, we're gonna flip this around here. You're gonna notice here that it has got a rubber suction cup base on it. How this bad boy works is it's basically it uses a vacuum on a suction cup. Okay, flat surface. And then you flip it up to suction on, but this is a metal base on here. Now, as you can see, this isn't no spring chicken. I've been using this for about a week or so since I've gotten this. Um, this is, is that uh, this is pretty handy, and I'm going to show you why. So, we're just going to go over here to the old rigmarole. And I'm going to show you how this thing works. What we're going to do is just stick it on here. This is glass. And then, let's see if I can get the glare. Now, we have a light. Now our light sticks to the glass. This will work. Also, and this is, this is super sticky. Look at that. This will also work on your metals that are non ferrous let me get the uh let me get a flat surface here that'll stick on the metal i was kind of on the round part there so you have to forgive me for that that was operator error but uh yeah so let's say you guys are body guys want to use it on aluminum bodies on new trucks you know pretty cool so yeah we're gonna get into the rest of the tool haul here but i wanted to start that off with that because that's awesome and uh henry likes it too right henry right come on get up here come on get up here henry do you like it he's off in the distance anyways let's move on to the next part of the tool all right so let's get back into what else i got here because we got a pile of stuff we're gonna go with uh, i also picked up another Noid light set. This was not from JD Tico. The rest of this stuff will be from JD Tico, including the Astro uh, Slim Cup, which this guy's, this thing is just awesome. I forgot, to, I might have forgot to mention in the in the comments too. One downfall about this is do not leave it on there all day expecting it to stay. So if you run home or leave with this, this thing, it will probably fall off. Heat variances, cold, heat and cold are going to affect this because it is a suction cup. But for if you're doing a job for an hour or something like that, I think you're going to be all right. And that's what's the good, good thing about this is. It's a nice big pop socket. It's basically what it is. But, I mean, it definitely holds my tablet pretty confidently. Uh, but I have left it up on my toolbox overnight when I come in. It's been down. So, but, uh, yeah. So, I picked up a Noid light set. And it doesn't matter where you get these things from, guys. They're all made from China. It's an electronic device that... Nobody makes these in America, unfortunately. Um, I just needed another set because mine had come up with missing pieces, was broken, all that jazz. And uh, it's just, it is what it is. So I needed another one. Looky down here at it. It's got a coil. These things are nice if you're doing stuff by yourself. Now, what it is is the fiber optic cable in here. A lot of you might not realize that, but you pop this in there if you're, these things come in handy if you're just trying to test injectors to see if you're getting pulse. They're not always the end-all, be-all tool, but they do have their place. It's got some updated connectors in it, which I didn't have. I had an old set that basically was that, and they were all getting cracked uh, from being around. You know, this is a problem when you've been in it for too long or been doing it for too long. You got crap that it just doesn't hold up over the years. So uh, it was like 30 bucks for this set. I'll try to put a link in the description. This is from ABN. You guys all know who ABN is. Auto Body Now. They do a bunch of cheap crap and whatnot. But quick uh, quick and dirty. That's all I wanted for that. Next thing we got from JD Tico. He sent a pile of pocket screwdrivers. And I will say that I li did like this. This is the second steel one. He must be sending these out with every order that you buy. And I did pay for my order, guys. The only thing that he sent for free was these screwdrivers. Um, the, the pocket screwdrivers and this screwdriver. And uh, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I don't ask anything from him. Just trying to help a guy out. Because these are, these are durable. The, you're not going to have any problems with them, guys. They're pocket pry bars. They're not pry bars. 
but uh, I still like the Mac ones a little bit better. I don't know, just a square stock. <coughs> A little bit nicer, but JD Tico offers them in several colors, and I started talking about these a year ago, and they've been a huge buzz since I did the first video, and a lot of people have done videos on these and whatnot, but I brought them to YouTube, and uh, I started showing them just like this Astro Slim Cup. I brought this thing around so that people could start seeing it, and uh, you know, I find new tools that are handy. That's what I do, so JD Tico uh, has got his own line of pry pocket pry bars now which is very cool. Um, the colors, orange, green, red, very nice. Very nice little pocket fibers. And the clip is oriented in the right direction versus the Mac one. If you guys uh, were, you know, some of you complained about the end digging into it, he's got it right. So definitely worth it to buy a three pack is cheap. These are 20 bucks on the Mac truck. And if you don't have a Mac truck, you get three of these, I think for 15 or something on his website, dirt cheap. And these will do the job just fine. So I'm not into some little tricky stuff like this. So anyways, moving along. Next thing I picked up, hell of a deal, the Steelman. Locking Laster Key Lug Nut Set. What a great tool here. Um, and I'll tell you what, guys. These are like 150 bucks off the tool truck. Don't care which one you go to. Don't care which one you want to go to. Um, and there, there, I don't know what Steelman's warranty is on it, but I'll tell you this much. I've used, I've had, I've had a set of these that I was, had bought in pieces to, and I have a couple of randos laying around, and I've never broke them. And I've always used an impact on them, so honestly, I don't know that you're really going to have to worry about too much warranty, because these are one of those tools that you, that you need them. It's better to have and not need than need and not have, and you're going to run into it if you're doing tire work or buying cars or doing stuff. I used, I deal with a used car lot, and they're the worst. They're absolutely the worst because they literally never have the key for these. And they don't want to buy the, the actual locking lug nut. They want me to remove it. So I charge for this. Now, this is $59 for this kit. I charge $20 for removing lock nuts. That's right, $20. Why do I do that? Because I invest in this tool. And if you're a mechanic or a shop, you should always be charging for things that cost specialties. This is a specialized tool. These guys are not going to run out and buy this kit. They might buy from JD Tico. If they do, that's fine. I don't care. Take the up. Uh, you know what? Take the lug nut off yourself. Save me the trouble. That's all that matters to me. But twenty dollars to remove this kit. I have a kit at the house now. I have a kit at the shop. Okay. And for fifty nine dollars, I paid one hundred and fifty for the one at the shop, and I have this one at the house now for fifty nine dollars. So big, great savings, and it comes with all these sixteen piece set. I believe is what it is. It's uh, sixteen pieces total. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16. Yeah, 16 piece set. Comes with a chart here. Gives you your, your size. This one right here is a common one. This one's a common one. These these four on the end are common. This one's common, common. And a lot of these right here. You're going to run into a lot of these right here. Not so common ones right here, but these all these ones right here, I do see them quite a bit. So pick one of those up while they're on sale because you're going to definitely... If you're a mechanic and you're using a lot of tire stuff, $59 is a pretty cheap investment for these. So, Then last but not least, and let me tell you, this was a struggle because I have a lot, of, a lot of these, was I picked up the old uh, Easy Red uh, light. This is a uh, rechargeable 1,000 lumen work light. Let me see if we can get this in here. Just show you the picture. This is the light. I have it on the pistol grip right now. Comes with a mount. Uh, comes with a charger. Comes with this mount. Clamp mount. And I was on the fence about this. The magnet. Uh, the magnet seems to work pretty decent. Uh, what do we got here? We got a couple wrenches. Whoops, let's just pick up everything with screwdrivers. Uh, wrench, whatever. We got them all right here. I am. Uh, I was on the fence about this. I will tell you, there's one thing I don't like with on the grip right here. Using this, this grip, they they Easy Red they did a did a pretty good job of getting this getting this deal locked in here. It's, it kind of sticks a little bit. You got to push hard and then you get it locked in. But this uh, this release is nice. It fits super tight. Fits super tight, and then you can get a pistol grip off here. I will not put this on all the way on here because I did have trouble. Their little release mechanism uses this clip right here to push down, and it's not it's not fun. Um, 
it, it's it's okay. It's sticky. Maybe it'll wear in. Thousand lumen light. It's got a charging indicator on the back. Two settings. Thousand five hundred. Try not to blind you. There's a thousand. There's five hundred. I'm gonna test this out. Goes on the clamp on this. I think for fifty dollars at JD Tico, it's worth me trying because under hood lights are always something that you know are a needed necessary deal. I was worried about this hanging down. Let me get this up here. I was worried about this. In fact, you know what? Let's just go right over here. I was worried about this hanging down. We'll just go look right underneath. Here, right now. Hell with it. What do we care? I'm going to flip this up here. Give you the quick demonstration. So, I mean... So there's the light hanging off the hood. I was worried about it hanging down too low on the hood of the hood, hood of my truck. Or a truck probably not so bad, but a car maybe. Maybe a little bit more. But this rotates. So you can definitely work it, put it down to your work. Now it's light outside, obviously, so give me a break on that. But you can rotate it. Rotate it side to side. Not too shabby. Pretty cool. So, yeah, we're definitely going to uh, use that a little bit. Anyways, guys, let's just end the video right here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.